Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Somebody's in my lap, so I'm just kind of having to hold her for a second. She says she wants some attention. You want the attention. I think she is like fascinated by the new hair. What are you doing, little girl? What are you doing? Mm, I know. Mm. <laughs> yes, yeah, she doesn't know what to think about the hair. Now, I did do a review on this or an open an unboxing. Shannon, get it out. I'll have that linked up above. This is a new, well, new to me, Polly Young Reese wig. Um, very pretty. I love the length. I love the style. And Lulu is just fascinated by it. But today's video is going to be a project pan that I want to start, but it is not makeup. It is skincare. It's a skincare project pan. What? I know. I think the lipstick is throwing her off, too. All right. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love, little girl. So everything I'm wanting to use is in this basket. Um, a lot of this you've seen, but I'm wanting to try to make a point to use it up. Um, this is this. Can you guys, can you believe we're already into February? We're already into February. So a, a lot of this stuff I've had from like Boxy Charms last year. We're going to be getting in new stuff from Boxy Charm this year, and um, some of this stuff I've. Well, I think only one thing I've actually purchased. Everything else come out of Boxy Charm. No, two things I purchased. So let's get into this. So this video is not like three hours long. You guys have seen this in Project Pans before. Um, I have used some of it, actually. Um, I just This is not one of my favorites. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. And um, this is where I've marked it before. And as you can see, it's gone up a little bit. And I need to mark it. I don't think I have my marker in here. I think I took it in the craft room. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, I have used it some. Hey, Lulu, I've used it some, but not a ton, as you guys can see. To me, it's just very sticky, and it's not, like, super moisturizing. I don't know. It's just, maybe it's because it is a, it's a serum or a gel or whatever, but. Mm. Coffee, guys, coffee. This is another one, the QMS, and QMS is so expensive. I want to use this. This is a lip line corrector. Now, guys, I, I do have some fine lines around my lips. I don't smoke. I do drink out of a straw when we go out to eat or sometimes here at the house. I will use a metal straw, but I do have some fine lines around my lips, but not, not like enough to be like terrible, but this is a lip line corrector. It's a lip serum. QMS, I don't remember what this retails for, but I know QMS is like outrageous, crazy expensive. So I want to use this. And the next one, I just lost my train of thought. The next one is Juice Beauty, the Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Eye Treatment. I actually have two eye treatments in here. Um, I have been using this one almost daily. So hopefully it is almost gone. I have no way of telling how much is in there, but this still feels pretty heavy. I do think this is metal. It's this kind of configuration, but I've been using this almost daily. So hopefully this is almost used up. People keep calling and they need to quit. It's just spam calls. It's just spam. Um, but there is... <laughs> There is the Juice Beauty. That one's in there. I have the Ordinary. Now, this is one I did purchase. The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I have been using this one. Let's see if I can get to where you guys can. There we go. Um, I have used a little bit of this one. It doesn't take a whole lot. So, I want to use some more of this up. The Hyaluronic Acid. It's not expensive either. It's not expensive. You guys have seen this one. This is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I've used quite a bit of this one because you guys remember um, there was only like a little corner out. But we're almost halfway down. Again, I don't use a lot. I just use two little dots on each cheek, one little dot on my forehead, and I rub it in. And that's... So I'm going to keep using that. Um, two more treatments here is the Tula Skincare Get Toned Pro, Pro Ga, Gasolic, 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 10% resurfacing toner. 
I need more coffee. Um, it's <laughs> this one. And then the Tula Skincare Glow Get It Cooling Eye Balm. And this is just a stick. And I actually have another one of these somewhere that is the pink one. Um, and I think it has a little bit more glow because it said you can use it as a highlighter. Yeah, I remember now. It says you can use it as a, like a highlighter. But this is the um, Glow and Get It Cooling. And it does cool when you first put it on. So those two I want to work on. This is another one I have never used. I unboxed it and never used it. Melatonin Overnight Serum from Milk Makeup. It's the purple one. I'm just not a big lavender fan. Um, I love the flower. I love looking at the flower. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the actual lavender scent. But that's it on this side. It does feel really good. It feels cooling as well. So I want to use this and just get past the, the smell. The smell is not overpowering or anything. It's just I'm not a fan of lavender smell. <laughs> the scent of lavender. The other thing I'm using is the 111 or 111 skin. Um, I have used this a couple times. This is like crazy expensive too. I've used this a couple times. And I don't remember my jar looking this empty. Uh, maybe I've used it more than I remember, but um, maybe it's just settled like in there a lot. But as you guys can see, the jar is like already half empty. And I don't recall using this that much. I really don't. Um, this is the Cryo Activating Hydra Gel. Maybe I've used it more than I remember. I don't, I don't know, but I want to use this up. I want to use this up and I definitely want another one. And I want to make use of everything else. Maybe not use it up, but make use of it. So everything's going to go in this little basket. It's going to go in my bathroom. And that's what I'm going to try to reach for. Um, as far as moisturizer, there's a couple moisturizers in there. Um, the Saturday Skin. Isn't that what this is? Yeah. Saturday Skin. I've been using this one a lot when I sit down to do my makeup. And I've been using the 111. So that's what I've been using for like moisturizer. That's it guys. That is my project pan for skincare. I have this and it's been sitting on my vanity. It needs to go in the bathroom. The snow mushroom water serum. I've never used this. I sat it in here and never took it in the bathroom. It's completely full. So I'm hoping once I get through like or use up some of this ordinary. I have another serum in there, which is I can't remember if it's a Sunday Riley or it's something. It's something kind of expensive that came out of Foxy Charm to, to put this in rotation because it's just been sitting in here, not being used because I already have like two or three serums that I'm trying to use. But let me know if you guys are focusing more on like your skincare than makeup since we're wearing masks every day. Um, I cannot stand my mask to get like makeup all over the inside of them. That drives me insane. So normally if I'm going out, I don't wear a full face of makeup. I might just do around my eyes and some lip balm and that's it. Um, I do miss wearing makeup. I will be honest, I do kind of miss wearing my makeup because I just feel more confident with it on. But when you're wearing a mask every day, taking it off, putting it on, it, it gets all gunked up with makeup and I just can't, I can't deal. <laughs> I can't deal with it. Um, but let me guys know if you're focusing more on your skincare right now since we're not wearing as much makeup or are you still wearing a full face of makeup? Let me know down below guys. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys are wanting to see. Don't forget to go over to my soap. Well, I'm going to start calling it my crafting channel because I, I do more than just make soap. Um, I am on the hunt for a small table to repurpose, refurnish for you guys. Um, I need one for my living room. Also, I want to start kind of redoing my home in more of a cottage style, shabby chic cottage style. Um, I'm hoping maybe this year that's something I can focus on. 
I still have a ton of my mom's stuff here in the house that we need to get out so we can make our house our home again instead of a storage building. So little bits of maybe home decor and like shabby chic repurposing furniture, that kind of thing might be coming up over there. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave my other channel link down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.